I'm gonna be honest. I don't love a mama's boy. Especially if it consists of the mother-son relationship consisting of something like this. Later, babe. Bye, I love you. See ya, brah. Bye, mommy. That's so real. Come to <laughs> <laughs> that might have been uh, a little too early in the video for something that risque. No, those are not grown, small, small men. No, those are her sons. Where can I get me a son like that? <laughs> all right, all right. I'm leaving. I'm sorry, okay. Cancel me. You can't cancel the uncancelable. <laughs> Boy moms, like everything I discuss on this channel, have been heavily discussed and debated on on the World Wide Web for the past few months. As someone who has a mom and an older brother, I have my own two cent. Uh, what? <laughs> As someone who has a mom and an older brother, I have my own two cents to give on this topic. You know when you're not the favorite. Um, everyone out there who isn't the favorite, I'm sending you love and God's good graces. Let's get into the video. A boy mom is actually what the title states. A boy who prefers to be called mom. Hey man, no judgment. I just have a few problems. Wait. <laughs> My publicist is telling me that is not the definition of a boy mom. <laughs> saying some other choice words too that I can't share on YouTube, but. Okay, I looked it up and I guess being a boy mom is a mom who has given birth to a male child that is being raised as a boy. <laughs> See, that makes more sense. In the world of the internet, however, hashtag boy mom will elicit a negative response from a lot of people. Can't women just gaslight gay keeping girl boss anymore? Boy moms will parade their sons all over the internet like they are the reincarnation of Jesus Christ himself while shaming their daughters in the process and on top of that, having an inappropriate emotional relationship with their son or sons. There's a lot of videos on TikTok that romanticize the idea of having a baby boy as if gender really matters that much. Not all of it's bad, but I do have four main problems that I want to point out with, in this case, toxic boy moms. Ask a Gen Z person how to describe something that they don't like, and they'll just put the word toxic in front of it. Toxic gossip train. The problems I have are one, their internalized misogyny, which is projected onto their children. Two, the emotional incest that many have with their sons. Three, the way they enable their son's bad behaviors. And four, the long-term effects that this has not only on their son, but on their son's future partners and family. Not every person who uses the hashtag boy mom hashtag on TikTok is gonna be like this. Not every mother who has a boy is like this. I just wanna focus on the ones who boldly proclaim how toxic they are and don't care about changing. Parenting is difficult, but we shouldn't treat our children with biases anymore. Above all, let's not send these women hate. Recently, the boy mom discourse on TikTok came to a new conclusion that boy moms are also pick me women. Salem Tobar recently made a video covering this pipeline, so go check out her video if you want a more in-depth look into that. One TikToker, however, summed it up pretty well. Are pick me's the same women who turn into creepy boy moms? 100% yes. You see, pick me women tend to be insecure and they rely on men for their validation. Because they're insecure, they will attract insecure men. These are the same men who will end up cheating on them and disrespecting them in the future. So when these women have sons, they have new men they can get validation from because their husbands failed them. And this is why they struggle so much when their sons get married because they can't stand to be second fiddle to any other woman because that's what their husbands did to them when they cheated on them. These women need to love themselves and validate themselves. Women who have internalized misogyny will then project that onto their children, treating their daughters with disdain while simultaneously raising boys who will get nothing but a slap on the wrist for bad behavior. One specific woman on TikTok has gotten a lot of attention for being a toxic boy mom, at first being criticized heavily and then proceeding to double down and lean into this label. Let's go ahead and watch the video that started it all. I never thought that I would be that toxic boy mom. I love my four kids equally, but that last uh -huh. boy... <laughs> just it's different and now i feel like i'm having this existential crisis or i wouldn't be that mom that toxic boy mom 
he hits his sisters, he punches them. I'm like, maybe he's having a hard day. So when I think about my daughters getting married, I get excited, right? I think about their dresses, planning their weddings. When I think about my son's wedding, I want to cry. Boy mums, we've got to step up. we got to realize that we are the problem. Okay, wow. <laughs> Let's cover there. First of all, she loves everyone equally. But that boy. Oh my god. I mean, like Doja Cat says, fuck the girls, right? <laughs> Ladies? Secondly, she admits in the video that she lets her boy hit her daughters with zero repercussions. Man, <laughs> the things that people will just admit to on the internet. Some of y'all, some of you all, um, <laughs> you need uh, to be banned from the internet and you need to go somewhere, somewhere uh, that doesn't allow you to have internet. <laughs> I'm not thinking of anywhere in particular at all. No. This is clearly enabling bad behavior from her son and could hit lead him into thinking that he can mistreat his sisters as he gets older and maybe even other women. The final nail in the coffin is when she talks about pushing gender stereotypes onto her girls. Another problem with many boy moms and then saying how she will cry when her son gets married as if her son is currently her romantic partner. <laughs> Gee, Dolly, I hope not. <sighs> Thank you uh, to this woman for this video. What a wonderful example this woman provides for almost all the bases that I want to cover in this video. Another video posted by this woman shows her picking her boy over all of her daughters while they cry in the background. Fuck them kids, <laughs> right ladies? In a similar vein, in another video, she picks her son over all of her daughters by giving him all the Halloween candy and leaving none for her daughters. Because you know girls, if they get a lick of sugar, their uteruses will then implode and they will turn into a lizard person. <laughs> Using your kids for videos is something that I already personally have a problem with, but we're not gonna get into that. It's a topic for another day. Clearly this woman intends this to be uh, treated as a joke. But the thing is, jokes typically come from a place of truth. If I say to you all, geez, I'm so hungry I could eat a person. You know, I, am I actually so hungry I could eat a person? No, that's the shock value of the joke. But am I, could I? You never know. In instances like this, the girls will grow to resent their mother for always picking the son and making excuses for him while they get treated like second cl class citizens. Jacob, honey, dinner's ready. I made mac and cheese. Come on up. Oh, honey, you're gonna start learning some manners soon. You're 27, sweetheart. Fuck off, Mom. <laughs> okay, honey. You said dinner was ready, Mom? Only for my baby Jacob, not you, you heathen bitch. I haven't eaten in five days. Well, honey, you're 12. Learn to cook for yourself, why don't you? Fine. I'll cook for myself. Hey, Jacob! What do you want, bitch? <laughs> Juliet, did you make breakfast? Yes, mommy. I made you sausage and eggs. Oh my god, probably tastes like shit. Oh my god, this is really good. You sure your, your brother Jacob didn't make this, honey? I mean, this is delicious. No, just me. Where is Jacob, by the way? I haven't seen him all morning. Immediately, before the baby is even conceived, these women will often complain about having daughters, claiming that they'll be harder to raise emotionally than a boy, when in reality, children are shaped by their surroundings and their sex does not affect how they'll turn out. You'll see this with the way that a lot of these moms push gender stereotypes onto their children like crazy as well. Girls are annoying because they only like dresses, makeup, and getting their hair done. <laughs> Ew, right? <laughs> Boys, on the other hand, are cool because they like trucks. Getting dirty and being tough. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> it's almost like these women have been missing masculinity from the men in their lives and are now seeking it from and projecting it onto their sons. Straight people in general are typically not okay. 
<laughs> they are obsessed with putting conventional gender stereotypes on their children. One video has a caption that says, Why do you like being a boy mom? Don't you wish you had a girl? Obviously not. Girls are icky and have cooties. <laughs> Whereas my son, I can kiss as much as I want. <laughs> Ahem. <laughs> anyway. This woman then lists a ton of gender stereotypes as a reason for why boys are apparently better than girls. She can shave their heads if they get lice. Okay, so I guess the girls will be getting the mayonnaise treatment and the boys will be getting the Marine Corps treatment. She hates the color pink because only girls like pink. <laughs> That's how I feel when I, I can see the color pink. <laughs> it's almost like that is something that is projected onto children and not an innate instinct they have when they're pushed out of your fucking vagina. No, our innate instinct is to kill for food, even humans, not choosing between the color blue or pink. She also says that she can wrestle with her sons, which you can't do with girls because as we know, they are fragile and born, and all of them are born with a bone disease. If you even slightly push them, they will fall into a million pieces. Despite anecdotal evidence, there's actually no scientific basis for the idea that boys are naturally more physical than, and girls are more nurturing. According to a 2016 article in Scientific American, obviously girls and boys are not identical at birth, but early experience we know now permanently alters the chemistry and function of the genes inside cells, leading to significant effects on behavior. The different ways parents raise boys and girls may similarly leave their stamps on a children's developing brains. So why does this woman love her male son more? What does he have that a girl doesn't? He wears Jordans? likes cars, <laughs> and doesn't like figure skating. <laughs> Sounds a lot like pick me behavior to me. She then addresses the intense criticism that she knew she was going to get in the caption by saying, LMAO, don't get mad at me. <laughs> and don't kill my vibes by saying girls can do all these things. I know, but it's oh boy, so let me have a good time. Okay, 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 okay. And my shirt is salmon, not pink. <laughs> Lady, salmon is pink with a fucking orange hue added to it. <laughs> what the? I... My God. A study undertaken by parenting website Net Mums in 2010 showed some interesting findings. Their survey, which involved 2,500 women, revealed that almost one half of the mothers said that while they know it's wrong to treat boys and girls differently, almost 90% confessed to doing so. The study also showed that mothers were twice as likely to be more critical of their daughters than their sons. Half also said they felt a stronger tie to their son than their daughter. Well, I'll tell you what, I didn't need a study to tell me that. Another example of this internalized misogyny is a screen recording of one woman's account with multiple videos talking about how upset she'll be if her baby ends up being a girl and not another boy. This actually makes me feel just a little bit bad. Imagine not being able to celebrate having a child and instead obsessing over an arbitrary gender that you put onto your child. These negative stereotypes, coupled with excusing your son's behavior, can pose a serious problem with what kind of men, most likely, that these boys will grow up to be. Consent is a learned behavior rooted in the idea of mutual respect for another human. When we do not teach our sons to seek consent, we're teaching them other people's bodies are objects that can be used. When we do not teach our daughters to expect respect, we're teaching them to accept abuse and belittle it as the norm. As Dua Lipa says, boys will be boys and girls will be women. GGG, gaslight, gatekeep, comments. Branky, come here, come feel your mommy's tummy. The baby's kicking right now. You know, sweetie, I don't believe in abortion, but if this baby is a girl, oh, oh, <laughs> I'm going to hell. By the way, Frankie, did you take my Marlboros? Hun, I won't get mad if he did. Yes. <coughs> well, you know, it's about time you start smoking. You're 23, you're almost a big boy. Just do it in moderation, that's okay, all right? <coughs> won't that hurt the baby? Oh, honey, I did this when you were in the womb and you turned out a perfect baby boy. Hopefully this will do the same. <clears throat> My lungs can't take any more. I'll kill it if it's a girl. Uh, I mean, honey, why 
have to wait till we get the gender results back, okay? Oh gosh, I'm so nervous. <clears throat> oh God. Congrats, you're having a baby, girl. How could this be? I've been smoking four packs a day. A girl. Hi, doctor. M my son is still learning his strength. Joanne, I'm terribly sorry, but you lost the baby. Oh, thank God. Hey, can you give me a drag for my cigarette, please? Misogyny aside, there's a sentence I never thought I'd have to say. Let's get into the incest, okay? Yep! <laughs> it's a lot of stuff I never thought I'd say. All right. Let me just say that I think there's a lot of reasons why a lot of these relationships are emotionally uh, too close, right? One big reason I see is that men, thanks to the patriarchy, are not really allowed to feel emotional connections with people. Not women, and especially not men. What the fuck are you, a gay motherfucker? Go, go suck someone off in the glory hole, okay? The love that they have for their mothers in some instances is the only acceptable emotional connection that they can have. Although girl dads face some of the same issues as boy moms, I don't usually see such a strange emotional attachment like I do with a mother and her son. This factor might be a reason. Men's behavior has often been dismissed as their mother's fault, adds Zara Hunton, a mother of two boys. Hunton says that she believes the expectations of men has changed over the last 20 years, making the boy mom label increasingly unfair. I think historically some mothers may have treated their sons differently, purely down to them thinking they'll meet a nice woman who will take care of them. Let's not forget that a man's influence, whether that be a father figure, teacher, or coach, is incredibly powerful. So it isn't about time we started holding them equally to account for how today's young men are being shaped. To this, I definitely agree. Women are typically heavily more scrutinized than men are. That scrutiny applies to motherhood too. Emotional incest, on the other hand, seems to be much, much more common between mothers and their children, particularly with their sons, than a father and his child. Mothers tend to treat their sons with more patience, enabling them to not want to grow up and become independent. It's usually called emotional incest or covert incest. Emotional incest is not physical sexual abuse, like it implies, but actually applies to an unseemly closeness between mother and son. Due to this behavior, daughters and their mothers often have conflict or animosity between them because the daughter feels that her mother is neglecting her or loves her sibling more. As we um, <laughs> unfortunately saw in the beginning of the video, there is one TikTok that shows a man slapping his, what we can presume to be his wife's ass, and then all of his sons following him up. Sweet home Alabama. Is this actually a common thing with mothers of boys? Because she captioned it like, tell me you're a boy mom without telling me you're a boy mom. <laughs> When my sons grab my vagina too. I'm sorry. Well, taking it too far, <laughs> guys. So this is the common thing with mothers of boys: having your son slap your kid. Okay. Uh, not only is this fucking weird to me, but again, it's this weird enabling of them treating their mother, mom, like she's an object and not a person. More specifically, this person is their mom. <laughs> sure, I know all of you are like, it's a joke. <laughs> Um, and if this is the way their boundaries work in this house, great, I guess. Um, but the father is clearly setting an example, and that example is obviously not just a fun slapping of ass, something that I casually partake in all the time when I go out in public um, with strangers. Um, it's sexual. Another TikTok shows a mom greeting her teenage son after a football game by straddling him. <laughs> Boyfriend. This is mom. Huh. <laughs> Different boundaries and stuff, but also, hey man, <laughs> that is your son. The boy clearly seems embarrassed after his mom jumps off of him too, signifying that there might be a problem there once he gets older because he's clearly embarrassed over her overly attached self to him. Yeah. In another WWW Classic W video from the woman from earlier, she's singing along to I Want You Back by Cher Lloyd. She's singing this song claiming that her daughter replaced her for her husband, and now her son is going to replace her husband for her. Sorry, word vomit. Um, <laughs> hey, you both need therapy. Your children should not be a replacement for your spouse. Sigmund Freud is not rolling in his grave, he's actually uh, jerking in his grave right now, having a lot of fun. That sick freak. The next example for our psychology lesson is a personal favorite of mine. The video reads, watch my son go from 21 to a grown-ass man in three years while serving in the military. 
and it's playing that one Ozzy Osbourne song that for some reason is like super popular on TikTok. But what this woman proceeds to post is literally just a thirst trap of her son. <laughs> I gotta watch it again. If my mom ever got a hold of a s <laughs> me post sweaty gym, no shirt on, <laughs> if she ever got a hold of that photo and had it in her camera roll, I would take her phone, snap it in half, ram it down her throat, and then light her on fire. <laughs> because why do you have that on your phone? <laughs> I gotta admit, he's kind of good looking, but at the same time, also looks like he would beat me up and call me the F slur, so sorry. Missing my son a little more tonight. <laughs> The comments that this woman posted just made it even worse because she clearly knows it's weird to post a thirst trap of her son, but she thinks it's like funny and quirky. Hey, girly girl. Now that last one was just kind of harmless. Well, it could, I don't know this person's relationship, but this is all speculation. It could be more than that, but it was all harmless fun, right? Some moms on TikTok are posting way worse. What did I say? People will just post anything. Another video has the Beyonce song, Drunk in Love playing, while a woman's, while a woman's three-year-old son is sitting on her lap, choking her, and she's clearly gyrating below him. Which to save my ass and all of your brains, which would never recover from this, I will not be showing. Actually, truly de deplorable. One woman's account even makes a joke out of getting her 14-year-old son to grab her ass while dancing with him. Not only is this just weird, right? I, I don't care what boundaries you have with your children. It is so weird to dance with your young child and have them grab your butt. But posting it to TikTok is borderline asking people to use it for fetish content. All of this combined makes for men who will end up being emotionally dependent on their mothers and mothers who can't accept when their son is in a relationship with someone else. These moms use their sons as a replacement for their significant others. So when the son eventually gets in a relationship with another person, presumably a woman in this case, they will treat this person like the other woman instead of an addition to their family, a daughter-in-law. If a mother-in-law thinks her daughter-in-law is stealing her son from her, she may act jealous and possessive and exclude her daughter-in-law from events and conversations. As a result, her son and daughter-in-law may set a boundary around this inappropriate behavior and pull away from the mother-in-law. Now her son spends less time with her and she thinks, see, I was right, she took him from me, rather than realizing that her actions caused the distance. Some men may feel trapped between their spouses and their moms, and if they don't recognize that the relationship is toxic, may even go so far as to prioritize their mothers over their spouses and family. Who comes first, your mom, your daughter, or your wife? Give me mom, mom, daughter, wife, daughter, wife, wife replaceable. Okay. Uh, daughter. If I'm on good terms with my wife, then wife, and okay. then mom, but if not, then mom in the middle. Daughter? Daughters at one, okay. Uh oh. Oh! oh. oh. Daughter, mom, wife. Daughter, mom, wife? You get know what I'm saying? You can always find another wife. You can't have another daughter. That's your life that you brought into the world. Okay. And your mom, my mom brought me into the world. So we go okay. daughter, mom, wife. Okay. okay, okay. I was raised by a single mother, so my mom's gotta come first. Mom first, okay. Then my daughter, then, then your daughter, wife. then your wife. Then my... <laughs> Men just love revealing the worst things about them on, with no shame, huh? You would pick your mom over your child? <laughs> well, you know, I know for one that your mom would never pick anyone over you. Or let you pick anyone over her. Everybody, I'd like to give a toast to my son, Jared. So finally, my son is married. I always wish it would have been me. <laughs> I would say I'm happy, but you know. I mean, Jared is just so handsome and, and so smart, so kind, so handsome. He looks just like his father 20 years ago, but he left us, so. Like I said, I would say I'm happy, but I mean, I wish my son could stay with me forever, but I mean, every mother's like that, right? Mm. He's just so handsome, looks just like his father, and I'm so lonely. Uh... Ooh. 
Oops, it looks like I said too much, everybody. <laughs> you know, nothing will ever top mother's love. The mother's obsession with her son manifests into defensiveness at the very idea of her son being with another woman. A very popular video on TikTok with 17 million views shows a mom lip syncing an Olivia Rodrigo song to her two boys. A song that is clearly about being romantically in love with a man and talking about him finding a new girlfriend. Another video says, my eight-year-old son coming home with his first girlfriend. Hey man, he's eight. The song says, Please go leave me for someone else. How are you being replaced if you're not his romantic partner? Even if it is a joke, this boy might grow up resenting his mom for being so overprotective of him and joking about him leaving her. You might have seen a quote being spread around on TikTok by boy moms like a wildfire. That quote is live, laugh, love, the quote from Kim Jong-un. No. Though they probably have that hung up in their house 50 times over too. The quote reads, your son growing up will feel like the slowest breakup you have ever known. Pardon. You know, I get what that's trying to say. It, it hurts when your child gets older, but isn't the entire point, <laughs> I wouldn't know, right? The entire point of being a parent to get your kids to leave you? <laughs> to be independent enough so that they don't have to rely on you? Framing it as though you are partners and he's leaving you is again, just asking for a negative relationship with him and his future partners. Another trend that was going around on the horrid place of Boy Mon TikTok went something like this. Hey man, why don't you try teaching him to cook so that he can feed himself? Have you ever thought of that? Again, these moms see their future daughter-in-laws as competition and not as an extension of their family. Another video shows a mom making a sandwich for her daughter-in-law where the sandwich consists of her throwing a ton of paprika on there. Is she allergic to paprika? Cause there's, there's first degree premeditated murder. Yeah, no, that's a, that's, that's another story. You know, the mom is upset because her daughter-in-law eats all of her food. That's because the bitch never learned how to cook. Another example of how this all manifests into terrible relationships between the mom, partner, and son is this video. Narcissistic mother-in-law destroys gender reveal party out of her jealousy. Gender reveal party already off to a bad start. Houses in the back will probably blow up too and light on fire and start another wildfire in California, but let's hope that doesn't happen. Let's see. Imagine this woman is pregnant, carrying her son's child. Finally found out uh, the sex of their child, something that's very important to both of them in their own relationship, and then you fucking run in there like it's some sort of polyamorous thruple. Hey bitch, it's not. This is not West Virginia. I don't think, okay? <laughs> Might be different. The daughter-in-law is clearly visibly upset. The son, maybe, I go so far as to say, is probably a little uncomfortable too. There are a ton of videos like this on TikTok, and it's sad. People are just out here, literally on their hands and knees, begging for therapy. Please, give us free health care! Joe Budden. Too busy funding war. Uh. On top of this, the other uh, terrible, terrible thing that could happen is that these men could end up being stereotypical mama's boys, who not only put their mom first, but who expect their partners to be moms for them. Mommy, I want food. Phil, we've been married for 20 years and you're 60 years old. Regardless of the circumstances fueling a toxic relationship between a mother and her son, there are ways to heal the toxicity and establish a healthier relationship moving forward. Working with a marriage and family therapist is one of the best steps. A family therapist can help a mother and her son explore the dynamics between them that aren't working in their best interest and offer them support and coping skills to detach from each other in healthy ways, as well as coping skills for any of the symptoms that are fueling the toxicity. All hope is not lost. All of these people that I talked about need to seek therapy. Hopefully they can, right? Healthcare. Take it from me. 
Being treated different and at times worse than your male sibling really dampens your relationship with the rest of your children and makes them feel unwanted. Your sons will feel dependent on you even as adults and it will affect them for the rest of their lives. Sure, guys, okay, for now it's jokes. But even jokes can evolve into something much more sinister as time goes on. Well, everyone, that's it for me and that's it for this video. I really, really hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the topic of discussion. Let me know what you all think about boy moms, toxic boy moms. Share your experiences with some toxic boy moms, if you so wish. Yeah, just comment anything you want to comment down below. If you like this video, you can give it a thumbs up. If you like me, you can subscribe. I post comedy and commentary videos every Sunday at 12 p.m. Eastern. So if that's just like your thing, make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell so you know when I post a video. Again, I really hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't permanently scar you. But more importantly, I hope that I see you in the next video. I better. Bye! I got nightmares in my head, I fear That the thoughts build up until I can't hear That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper